Welcome everybody, Austin. Yeah, the rain is blowing off the trees, giving me a little wet, but since the breast coasters, back with another video. Today's video is an exciting video. I'll be back here, right here at Keens Island behind me, almost 50 years ago. Um, the Brady Bunch filmed an episode here called The Cincinnati Kids. Today, I will be showing the filming precise exact locations of that episode. I know what you may say, well, it all happened in the same location, and yes, that's partially true, even though some happened over there direction but I will be showing you the precise before and after shots from the episode filmed almost for over 49 years ago I believe it's over 49 years ago and what it looks like now in 2021 join me as I show you these filming locations throughout the park before and after shots and uh, yeah I'll show you guys I'm really excited to make this video it's been one of my I've always wanted to film this video and now I'm making it happen so here it is. Enjoy, guys. So as the announcement goes on in the back, if you look right here, and you look over here, this is what the difference looks now. Or this is what it used to look like. You can see the bus in the distance, the tree. Just turn around, I'm a little bit further up, but if you zoom in, just wanna get some shade in the background. But yes, yeah, this is the front of the park here. And I think as the shot goes on, Let's see if I can play the episode here. Bus pulls up. Yeah, there the Brady Bunch there is about to go into those gates right there. And there's Eiffel Tower. We'll walk in the park and show you that shot. As you can see, that's what it used to look like. Now, and the camera up, that's what it currently looks like now. So, the Brady Bunch was currently standing right here, where it was. And that building would be right there. Pretty neat, think about. And there's the Eiffel Tower, there's the Sky Coaster from there to there. It's not there anymore, but yeah right about in this general vicinity. Pretty neat. It's Woodstock. You're here today. All right, Woodstock's in the building. All right, the next attraction that came up in the episode, I'm just going in like the episode order, uh, is the log ride. Now, fun fact about this one, that like overhang used to extend, the queue used to go pretty far out this way. As I pull up on the screenshot though. So as we watch this, coming down right there, that's what it looks like now. The camera would have been more towards my left. So cool. They came down right there. And the funny thing is, there's like no people standing right there. But like, if you look at another shot, there are more people, I think. This is what I was mentioning. There's like people right there that weren't there on the other shot. So they kind of, it confirms they used two different shots for the log ride right over there. Cause people were in line. So they probably did it during the crowded day and they did it towards the end of the day. As it picks up the rain here. Oh, I'm vlogging in the rain. Why am I filming in the rain? I'm also sitting in the rain. Why am I filming? <laughs> I always pick the bad days to film. June 7th. That would be a good day. But it's Ohio. The weather changes instantly. Like Kind of like Disney in Florida. I found a Kings Island canoe. I wonder if that was one of the old ones the Brady Bunch used. Maybe, or it's just if somebody falls in there, save them. As the rain comes on. Well, I guess we can resume this uh, Brady Bunch video if the rain's not too bad. So, currently, once the camera goes into focus here, I'm standing uh, in a good general area of where the spinning keggers would be used in the Brady Bunch episode. So, um, the beer garden is right here, or not the beer garden, but the, uh, I think it's a Mexican place now, but. They used to probably serve like German food back in the day. 
um, some other stuff. I'm right by that building right here and it still has the red roof to it. In fact, that it had, or the color similar. They might have updated it, but I'm standing in a good approximate spot about, about approximately where the old um, spinning keggers were. I believe I have the name right. If not, correct me in the comments. Uh, I was not alive during these times, so I'm going off memory. I don't have a list out in front of me or anything. But yeah, it's pretty neat to think about. I could go up in the Eiffel Tower for this shot. All right, there's the keggers, so let's see if we can match up anything that used to be in the background. Yep, it's right here. I believe them eating apples too was around here. I will go to this location. I know where it is. So we'll pick up the video of this location. I used to work this location. So if you look at this screenshot right here, you can see the skyline picnic facilities in the background of Scrambler. So we'll get this uh, shot timed up. I think they're about ready to send it here. Now, I don't know if these are in the precise location, but I found the same game that they used, the Play Break game. Nobody's playing it right now. But fun fact, I used to actually work this game back in the day. By the way, I gotta love the purple and orange plates. But there's the counters. The counters are a little bit different, higher. So they could've been that way or down that way, but pretty similar. As somebody just won over there, I used to work that game, but it was in a different location. So they moved these games around in Coney Mall, like I said. So, but this is the like type of game they played. So, like to give you an idea, breaking the plate, it's pretty simple. But there it is, right there. It's a Brady Bunch. Now the next game, I believe there's a break in the episode. But yes, here's the next game I will go to. Now, I believe had they have uh, lowered these counters down, but they're similar, they painted them obviously, but this is definitely the precise exact location of the uh, football game right here. That's what it looks like today. And that's back to the screen here. I do not know the characters off my head and I don't wanna mess them up, but is the camera pan this way? and then it panned back that way towards the Coney Mall. And we don't have those trees there anymore, so that looks a lot different. And I think he says something along the lines of, "This, I don't think this is your game, because uh, right about now, because he's trying to get her number, or like ask her out or something. But yeah, they still have the footballs there. Probably definitely different footballs. All right, I had to step in some shade right here, but I found the location where they bought ice cream from. So apparently the skyline used to be the ice cream spot. The reason I say that is because it looked like it, I believe it was in Coney Mall. This looks like the shot right here. The pencils. I could be wrong, it could be that over there where the subway is, but I believe this might be the spot. Like I said, I could be wrong. But it kind of looks similar structure. You can see that on there. I don't know, but if somebody knows, definitely comment. I'm like, not guessing, I'm like just spacing off the locations I believe they are. Because nobody has done this video before. Like I forgot to mention that in the intro. I will be like the first YouTube to do a filming locations of this uh, episode. All right, so this slide right here, I believe it was right in front of me where I'm about to show, but I'll just show what it looked like, because most people aren't familiar. It's a big slide. My mom actually rode this as a kid and said it was really fun. But I'll show you the precise location. You can kind of see it peeking beyond the phone, if you know what the top of that is. I just called the Zephyr, but anyway, I just spoiled it. That right here is where the slide used to be. Um, yeah, it's not there anymore. They moved it, I think, to Hanna-Barbera land, shortened it, but now it's gone. Venturing back to this Gainesville, I wonder if the camera people actually like were waiting for Monster. 
to go. So they stood here and like filmed um, spots. But here would be the exact, the precise one. Let's see. It was blue and it's still blue today. That's pretty neat. They have changed a little bit, but they're still basic as somebody about to play the game. But yeah. Oh, he just got one in as I missed it. But anyway, it says three throws, so I don't wonder if you still get three throws today. Oh, he made that one. I think you, three throws is for a win. Hey, and he made it in the blue one. There's a sign for the rules. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's see what it says. So there's different prize levels, so I'm sure it's a lot different than it was back in 1972 or three. They filmed this, and the camera would have panned from this angle, and uh, this would have been the background. Now, today, there are just two railer trees. I wish they would bring back for their 50th. It's my request: the kinko trees that they first they uh, throw back to the Coney Island days, back down in Coney Island. But as I say that, let's get a shot of the monster. Right, the monster logo has changed uh, since 72. This is what it currently looks like right now. Let me zoom in just a tad so you can uh, see what it looks like nowadays. This is the current monster logo. And this is what it looks like. About the same camera angle too. And uh, was the racer going up in that one? It was not. But I will get a shot of the monster and racer in it as soon as it goes on. This would have been harder because the fence is in the way, but it would have been right here as the racer went by. This would have been the shot. Better off is like this way. If it focuses. Well, anyway, as I was saying, this would have been similar ballpark shot of what it used to look like. And I wish they would bring back the roses, the paint, as you can see, the blue rails, the red on the side of the track. Maybe for the 50th, fingers crossed. But yeah, you can also see the old exit ramp used to be right, if one that focuses, used to go right there and down. Now you have to exit all the way around the long way. Um, let me get a better view of this because the view wasn't the best. That would be the better view of that. This ride probably existed before lockout fences were a thing. The white part, people could stand there without having this big black fence. But as the racer goes, we'll uh, get a better shot of it. Before these dodgems were here, let me show you a fascinating shot uh, from the episode, The Brady Bunch, as we walk back this way for the perfect shot of it, because um, they had a dearly loved ride 
that I believe they moved. I think it was the same one when they moved it to the spot of the three point challenge. Anyway, that's another story for another day. I'm just uh, time filling the walk to the shot because I wanted to show from the front because of the back you may not know what it is. But if you actually look, you can see two defunct rides. You can see, it's. I'm gonna line this up as best as I can. And it's, this is not precise because the park layouts have changed. But this right here, as you can see on the screen, hopefully, once it focuses, was a Flying Eagles ride. And in the background would have been the slide. So it may have been this path right here. And you can't see it now, but it would have been somewhere. The camera would have been pointed along the lines of here, possibly. You can't see it because of the building. But then as you make your way this way, that's what I think the camera would have been pointed that way because you could see the slide in the background. So wherever the slide would be perpendicular, or maybe even that path there, but these paths have been repaved, but it's still cool to think about. That's what once stood. This park has changed a lot though. Orion, like everything, just everything about it. It's still cool the racer's still here from the original Brady Bunch episode. But yeah, that's where it is. I believe these guys were eating popcorn right over there by the Coney Treats bench. That's not there anymore. Um, but yeah, they said not to load, their parents told them not to load up on sweets because they were going to eat a big lunch to, um, before they showed the park their plans for the new area of the park. And um, yeah, but that's the area. Um, maybe, possibly. It's kind of hard to see, but. They did show an angle of the old antique cars, which did occupy this area at one point. So that's where that is. All right, so right here is, um, they're walking out of what is now the French Quarter uh, right there. Um, I believe they walk out of the doors on the side or they used to have like retractable doors right here. But they walk out, so we play the clip with the plans, or I think it's a poster. I believe this is a gift shop. Yeah, it's a poster, but uh, I kind of spoiled the ending. They uh, get confused with the plans later. But I believe right here is the French Quarter right here. All right. 